Good evening, everyone. We are tired, boys. Altras joined by Duke Carge. Duke, how are you? Uh, this is my sixth stream in a row. Hey. Hey. We, we the real admins. Uh, I think we can claim that we are the league. <laughs> Look at me. I am the league now. Oh my lord. I do believe I've gotten a lot of experienced solo casting from just this week alone. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But at, the, but at the same time, holy crap. I've seen good plays. I've seen bad plays. And I've seen blunders. You will Tends to very find... pretty team. <laughs> you will not find a stream with more tired casters right now. This is just... It's going to be a very action-packed game. As Hopefully. one of us will probably fall asleep halfway through. I, I, I'll, I I'll, I'll be relying... Wait. Is... Is Booty not in the game? No. I thought he'd be no. playing. Maybe not. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll be relying on Alex to keep me awake. And of course, <laughs> the, the most insidious turnip. Okay, so... Chat. If Alatros does fall asleep, I'm going to start whispering to him. Alright, whispering the place, okay? So that we don't wake him up and make him angry. You mean like this? <clears throat> Welcome to an USL After Hours. Yes. What, what would you like to drink? Oh, God. This is, this is a very weird way to hold my microphone. I'm literally okay. holding it up to my mouth. Oh, no. Let's just cast the entire match like that. We're getting close. Everyone in the chat right now is leaving the match. They're just like, why is this happening? We, we don't need that. But that's okay. First side will be upstairs in Hookah Lounge. The cool cats of NJIT will be defending that. As we see, ASU attack. They have a Maverick pick and a Lion. Very strong attacking line. I backed up with a Dokopi. Lots of roam clear. The Maverick will be able to sneak into places without being heard. They have a Habana, which could be used to hot breach on the site. I don't know. Those those uh, those don't open up very much, and a lot of the time they can screw up really bad. I saw I saw just earlier today, Monty tried to vault over one, and they just screwed over their entire plan. Like, like, all of the plan? All of the plan. My all God. three charges were used, and there was a single line, a single line of wall left. What a catastrophe. Hopefully, this does not happen to ASU in this matchup. Beast Freak on the pulse. We'll spot our reverb hanging out in this glorious VIP lounge. Backed up by Surfon on the Havana. He'll take some fire all the way from pool table. I believe that was uh, Porto's MP5. He'll, he'll back away from that. Be a little bit safer. Just a little bit. We'll see ASU drone out for him. Looking for where the enemy roamers have gone off to. Meeple run directly into the Type 89. And Xerophon will find him. No clutch for you today, sir. Xerophon, uh, I'm sorry. Meep in week one got an excellent 1v5 clutch against, I believe. It was uh, GMU. I'm not hundred percent sure, but it was it was nice. Zotic, Zotic, Zotic Energy. Sounds like somebody has a sponsor. It's we'll be playing the line. Like, it's like Zoetic Energy, I believe. Zoetic, okay, sure. Zoetic Energy. You know what? what whatever makes him happy. Whatever makes him happy. See a lot of sight presence coming out from NGITs. They will not roam at all. Instead, play very quietly on the side. They'll find one kill as Porto takes out Reaver, but Ozzyford will get fragged up by Xerophon in return. Possible ace here happening very soon as the Abana has the only two kills for his team thus far in the round. Uh, it looks like it was very quiet and then Lion started shouting. And then Lion started shouting, so he doesn't make it a mess of the place. He'll find one kill though. There goes Porto, clearing out the back of the pool table side. And City is turned up playing. The angle trying to find out where the attack will come from just yet. 
They are inside the aquarium room. They'll get pushed up. Nice shot from Insidious. Turn up. There goes Seraphon. Already out the door. Good job here holding that angle and uh, getting the immediate headshot on the Havana. Kinda hard when the her no no uh, kinda hard when her gun is, you know, better than usual, but you know, despite having the advantage, I guess you could still die. Yeah. I guess they could still die. Two to three in favor of ASU, but they're running out of time. I'm only twenty seconds left in the clock now. I'm counting fifteen now. Let's we'll see the pulse. Playing in the hallway, trying to buy time for his teammate. He will still have the nitrous cell. We won't see him throw it out just yet. He has the ability to deny the plant here, but he'll just look for it. Oh, not getting close enough. He will hit. <laughs> he'll hit him with the nitrous cell and get the down. There goes the lion, completely styled on. This is going in the highlights. Okay, no, I can't. I can't. No, no. <laughs> this is going that, in the highlights. Absolutely, this is going in the highlights. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't whisper after that. No, I just saw a man get down with a C4 albatross. <laughs> no, not, not like blow up, blowing up a C4. I just saw a man get hit in the face with an explosive. The explosive did not go off, and he still fell to the floor. Style bomb. Oh my god. I mean, it ha see, I I bet you money that the lion doesn't know exactly what happened to him. And if he watches the VOD back, he'll find out and be really sad. <gasps> oh my god. But the, 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 the pulse still should have... He should have led with the C4, honestly. Because, hmm. like, yeah, there's only... Thro throwing it sooner during that is, is, is a little... Uh, is well, what the average player would do. I'm not quite sure why he wanted to wait. But it worked out in the end, so that's okay. Uh, ASU just not really managing their time all that well. You know, like, they, they got some good frags. Uh, Xerophon was able to find Meep and uh, Porno. But after that point, they just kind of fizzled out uh, after the Hibana got picked off. Uh, ASU usually has pretty good run clear. It's just... Once they get to sight that sometimes things... The lack of CZPZs is, is, is going to hurt them a little bit in this series. Hmm, definitely. As he is very much a, a an impact fragger for his team. We'll see uh, how this works out moving forward. We'll see a strong spawn from ASU out towards the pool. Uh... I predict a very swift pay to the first four by ASU if they do that, um, because we want that bot playing. Are we going back to me? Are we going back to whispering? No, I'm just very, okay. very tired, and, uh, <laughs> you can definitely still hear my voice <coughs> all through the microphone. I just yeah. start getting quiet when I'm really, really tired. Oh, you know what, you know what person's kind of interesting to watch play Siege when they get tired? Hmm. Portable. Oh really? It's weird. Really? He like, stops like doing strategy. He stops doing strategies and then he's instead starts rowing where he thinks people will kill him. Hmm. Like for for me, it's kind of it goes it, it it comes in two phases. Is that I'll be tired enough to where I stop like caring, but I'll not care in a way that I just play like really aggressively and it works and I kill everybody. And then I just get to tired to the point where I lose the ability to aim, mm -hmm. and then I just die. <laughs> but 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 for like that thirty minutes in the in between, looks looks pretty great. I bet I bet. Um, what's going on? Nope, I don't. Why? I guess I'm mean, like yeah, I'm a maverick. You know, I might want to like go for a bit of a sneaky kill onto Ozzy playing on the Capkin. Beast Freak here is in a very precarious position. The hatch has not been open yet, though. ASU's not really taking advantage of that sight line. And the Pulse will be able to hold the hallway from pretty pretty good safety. Alex will look for a frag onto the Capkin playing in this corner. He'll get, he'll get picked off by the Skeleton Key. The corner's pocket has been opened up. Possible plan here coming out very soon from Reverb. As Porto and the City is part of are very much locked down on the site. Me, Porter will come off for the flank, trying to find where Tanner's is now. You know, going for the flank inside of VIP, he'll down one. There goes Reverb. And a bonnet. No, oh, go for the interrogation. The floor is solid. Meep, why? Meep. That was so free. That would have been so beautiful. 
We'll see. And an, an excellent flank from Meeple shut down ASU's push with now three members, three members left up for their team against four from NJIT to hold the site against the masses. Meeple get shot at here, but not quite damaged at all. Tanner no. and Alex is kind of spraying at him, making the bad men go away. Oh, sightlines go both ways, I'm afraid. As Alex will open up the wall and then, and then get shot as this rotate back. The Kavera, Meep getting so aggressive here will down Zotek, but Tanner will be able to find the frag and revive his teammate with, with eight seconds left. This might be fatal as they just do not have time to make anything happen with this. Porta will find a headshot as line gets hit by what sounded like 11 goo mines. And once more, we'll see NJIT one out the round. Those, those. Again, bad, terrible time management. I'm not sure what the ASU is doing. They're just... They, they find the Romers, they kill them, and then they take... Well, actually, that there... There were a couple of Romers in the VIP. They didn't manage to get them that very well. And then they just ran out of time. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of... Hey, who sounds like he's using autotune? I am, I am confused. I think that's you, because on my end... You sound like you're using out of tune. Really? Yeah. I don't That's know what your strange. microphone's doing, but... Does it sound weird? It just sounds like it's trying to cut off parts of your voice. Really? That's yeah. odd. Mm. Hopefully it stops doing that. Uh, Latros, were you trying to record a music video earlier today? <laughs> People weren't supposed to know about the mixtape yet, man. Come on. I didn't know dropping, the, dropping them spicy R6 rhymes with a with a Z. Are you gonna just get a bunch of disc tracks together for all the players? Obviously. Why is he putting down the smoke grenade right there? Some some players make it easier than others. Oh, I see. He was trying to impact it, but then he fumbled onto the. Uh, no, see the now now he's he's making modern art. See, so, you know, he he went from making a making an oval to making an eight. Which signifies, I don't know, I trust. I trust. the, the amount of deaths you'll have in this game. Turn your head 90 degrees. That's what he wants. That's what he's making. The infinity sign. I see. See, that's, that's, see, see, that's thinking outside see, the box. He's making a very clever reference to one of the infinity stones right now. Six uh, infinity stones. Yes. The one that Thanos could not get. Alright. I, I haven't seen, I have actually haven't seen Infinity War yet. Oh, this is not a spoiler. This I know, no, no, I'm, I'm saying, like, I, I need to. It's been... It's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's, it's something that I've wanted to see. As it, you know, just like... As so, as a nerd in the modern era, it is kind of expected of you to watch uh, all Marvel movies. Albatross, um, which one of these players do you think is the gamer Infinity Stone? The gamer Infinity Stone? Ooh, is there a little already fun in City I mean, personally, I very much like the idea of, of, of a, of a turn-up being the Infinity Stone. But, <laughs> but I'm not quite sure. It could be reverb. Could be reverb. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how how well they frag here. They're from already. Uh, very good. Ozzy will get very aggressive here. I mean, I, I I like the attempt, but he'll get shot up very, very low by reverb playing at the at the opposite angle. Not quite ready for the Maverick to be behind him as he peeks out. Ozzy Fair could get an easy reset here by Meep, but he'll opt to instead go back towards the site and not get too greedy. Does does Ozzy have he? Ha That's an interesting loadout: FMG9 and P226, as opposed to the more traditional shotgun and SMG11 that we've seen in the past. Already one smoke grenade will get used by um, by uh, by Zerfon. I feel like if he's gonna use it, he needs to try to go for the plant, or at least have or rather have his teammate. There we go. Zotek Energy will go for the plan here with Zerfon watching for it. We'll see Porto peek back around trying to try to find the frag, but the glass is waiting and ready for it. There is so much counterplay to that, ladies and gentlemen. Reverb, what are you doing upstairs? I don't understand what he's. Uh, there's still five attackers. I don't know. Smoke will help out the friendly neighborhood glass and give him more smoke to use for his own for his own advantage. People come in for the clutch. Trying to make, two, make trying to make it two weeks in a row with one man down and four up for their four ASU. It is not looking good at this time, and he will get fragged up. ASU, ASU pretty much just dominated that using your glass. It was a, it was a pretty much a no. Sorry, 
that scenario was entirely won by that glass on the door Absolutely. because they kept peeking him. They shouldn't have done that, and anybody else that the was smoke around... was not playing close enough to be able to to deny the plant by just smoking the smoke, and they were able to abuse that because like and... playing your smoke off of sight is just never something you want to do. Uh, I've seen offside smokes, but usually um, it's it's for just very quick um, crossfires, blanks uh, on uh, people who are trying to get roamers. But even then, they usually come back to sight once they, they know that people are almost in sight. Like, you know, that glass and the uh, plant going down. The Was it Tanner planting? Calm down, I, 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 hmm? I can't. I can't say. Uh, it was uh, Zotek that was planting, uh, covered by uh, Zerfon. Using that lion's roar and the glass to completely shut down any sort of prevention from the defenders. We'll see them go back to Hookah as they have rotated all the way around. Uh, last round was ASU's first round on the board. We'll be able to see if they are you know, able to maintain this lead. I just want to say, this makes me very happy to watch. As they are not reinforcing ne next to their teammates, they are actually assigning, like, it, 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 at least it looks like that NJIT knows, like, 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 they each have a reinforcement assignment and they do that job. As was just going, someone get this. And it's just, it's, it's, pretty solid. It's, it's that extra level of, of, of practice that you can see. It's, it's, it's just nice that teams have put in the extra work and have this planned out. See, Ozzy, Ozzy just wants to get so aggressive on this angle. They'll look for it, but they will not quite connect. But we'll see Tanner take quite a bit of damage on the Ying. Brought down to about 52 HP, 51 HP. Ooh. Moving forward. I'll take a bet on 52. Will you take a bet on 51? Uh, sure. Alright. I'm just asking chat, Tanner, how much HP do you have? <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently I'm playing a little bit low on volume on the stream side. Uh, is it low? A little bit. Uh, but that's okay. Hmm. It's a late night cast. It's on. I late. can turn you up. Yeah. One second. My production quality. Let's go uh, with... Let's do like 38. Talk now. Yeah, that's... That's probably better. Right. Yeah, that sounds yeah, good. Probably. Okay. Alright, so Xerophon's gonna be now on to the leaders right here. Just see somebody else and gets a headshot. That did... Oh, wow, okay. That was... Good. I have to say, Xerophon has actually got really good reflexes in this game. Mm -hmm. And it, a lot of the... A couple of streams... I, sorry. Matches I've seen him play in. He's usually a very big player on getting those tracks. And... What is this? Okay. I think that Injured has uh, some good strategies. Ooh, Beast Street might find a frag on Havana. No, maybe. No, we're, we're, we're but, but that's apparently... That's Sophia, actually. No, okay, no, Havana's we're, in there as well. We're apparently we're... his thought process at the moment. Mm. We're going, maybe, maybe not. Oh, my, he might be handy off to Meep, though. Let's see if Meep will get the ASMR interrogation. Oh, my God. As he now looks to lie in wait, seeing if the attackers... Moving a little bit too deep. Alex will look to push up the blue stairs and we'll get down by the Cavera. He'll not go for it. Now Lions will come out, but no one is there to stop it. Interrogation will go off with the Lions were there to counter it. But this is a big advantage coming out for his team, but every single other member <laughs> is down but not out. So as we'll see one push in from it. Aquarium Reverb just kind of holds the ankle <laughs> as they huddle oh together God. for safety. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's standing it. against three members. It's a cuddle puddle. It's a cuddle puddle. Why would you keep the, I mean, keep the smoke? I mean, I don't know, man. Oh my god. Captain. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Reverb will get hit with the captain trap as well. He can clutch out the round. He'll look for the kill and he'll find it. Reverb, what is happening? What is this round? Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening, <laughs> Cats? What even are <laughs> captain traps? Somebody, can somebody tell me? <laughs> like, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> they no, had no, the see... time to check the door beforehand. And the glass can see through smoke. Just, and could probably see on the door there. What? It... Obvi yes. Obviously, Ozzy calculated that. Like, he was like, you know what? They're going to play the glass again. We're going to hit him with the captain trap. It's going to work great. Oh my god! It, 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 those 
that was that was the greatest thing. Like I, I'm like I'm actually awake now. Well, it looks like uh, Albatross uh, is coffee, so I guess I can actually bring it up to full volume of my booming voice. Yeah, no, nice. I, I can't I can't do that the entire stream. I can try. No, I'm not gonna try. Accent. I bought a I bought a six pick out of Ash coming from ASU. Um, I I, I, don't I don't know if that's I mean I, I suppose. I mean, ASU is a veteran team. Be having these it, problems. It, it, it honestly feels like ASU is playing a lot worse than they normally do. And I'm not entirely sure as to why this is happening. Uh, yeah, like, the, feels... the lack of CZPZ is definitely not helping them right now. They're not, they're not actually, like... They, they don't seem very coordinated at, at they a don't. lot of spots. They, they seem to just sort of be like, okay, let's go. Where are we going? Uh, there. And Let's then... all play ranked. Oh, God, they, they like just entering hookah right there. Yeah. If if just if they one person just held the angle and the other went through the door and got uh, down, uh, that would have been fine. That would have been fine. That's what they tried to do. They, they, they tried to do what they did in the previous round, where you know, like the the glass covered the plant. But what ended up happening is that <laughs> I believe I, I believe it was it was a. Uh, Zoatek, and he like he triggered the captain trap with the AOE of the blast down the gl down the glass as well because he had. Oh no, HP. that's what I mean. That's what I mean. The other guy should have been much further back. Probably, yeah. probably closer to the stairs to cover the door. Honestly, like uh, uh, Zerfon could have probably have, could probably have just played it from the ruins as well, because I'm, I'm I'm quite certain that the angle would have reached if he if they planted it carefully. That, all of that. Obviously, walk, holding it from that far is, is a little risky, but you know, like, he, he did not need to be as close as he was, definitely. Yeah. It, it, all that from just like one small decision that just threw the round completely for them. Like, damn. Again, <laughs> Meep just lies in wait trying to go for that uh, delayed flank, helping out his team. Stalling them out, and the Maverick is not ready for it. He'll find one kill. There goes Reverb. They just don't drone for the Cavera. They, 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 they just don't look for him. This just should not keep happening. This is the second or third time that uh, that Kavera has been able to just catch them completely unaware. And uh, frankly, I, they it seems like ASU has forgotten that the drones exist at all within the economy of the game. And just, oh, oh no, interrogation number two! It, well, okay, you, you know that's Kavera. First of all, why is your ying over here when you need to plant? Second of all, why are you having people go off by themselves when you, when you know that there's a Kavera on the board? Oh, Ozzy will get what? picked up by, I think that was a Claymore, but but not before he gets rid of Zoatek. Last man, last two members, oh. I'm sorry, for ASU, Xerophon and Alex, such as they try oh. to wait for Meep's counterflank. To his advantage, though, that is one way to get rid of a Claymore. <laughs> Guys, I got rid of it. You're welcome, team. <laughs> this just opens up a... Uh... Oh. Sidious Turnip is, in, is not in a very safe spot here. But Meep will find one down and he will wrap up Xerophon. Last man is Alex on very low HP and Turnip will be able to clutch out the round. And JIT is playing very well on this map. Is, is, is CZ easy like their shot caller? Is I think it, I'm, I'm pretty sure Alex is. They, they, they might just be tired. It is pretty late at night. It is pretty late at night, but I guess um, NJ, NJIT's. Uh, coach just bought them all espresso before the game. <laughs> it, you can definitely, you know, see that in how um, in how they're playing. It's it's definitely very coordinated. It's definitely, um, no, no. This is defense. Defense is a much easier effort to coordinate than it is to attack. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not gonna go. Oh no, this team. What we haven't seen, uh, NJIT actually attack just yet um it could just be that a lot of this is just passive um position holding and defense uh, will will certainly help uh asu's apparent lack of lack of communication i feel because like there's there, there's less pressure on on alex being able to make calls while having to focus on his own play i feel like a lot of asu's players play better when they're allowed to think for themselves i would agree and and, and, and um Typically, the the idea of a defense of defense leaves the, enough of the mind open so that uh, you can just hear a few calls and oh. more or less just. Oh, the, the synchronization feels so good. Sorry, go ahead. Oh my god, it, 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 
I can definitely see Alex and Tanner picking up a couple more kills here and there. <laughs> Especially because we've seen Alex play Pulse a lot of times in the preseason, and he was—he's really a great Pulse. He's—he's he's a great Pulse, and the, all he needs to do is uh, bring out some of that talent. And, uh, uh, get Thorn on the, the attacker side. Um, I, I, I honestly, honestly, most of these games seem to um, always favor whoever wins uh, at least one round during uh, the attack phase. Because mm -hmm. uh, Meeple go for the rush here up the light stairs, trying to catch the defenders off guard. We'll see how well this works out for him. I like the aggression, but. Might be a, just a little bit too zealous here, but he will open up the wall of Fia to try to catch the Maestro off guard. He will find one kill. There goes Tanner. ASU's just not ready. Not have to, have to rotate all the way back across. He'll get shot by the mirror across the way. Meep, what is happening? Getting so slowed by the clash. And it finished up by Zoetech Energy, but the wall is now open. They have sight pressure now, but below the city's trying to look to watch the flank. He will find Xerophon already. I'll try to wait. And watch, but he's just not in a position to really be able to help out his team. Meanwhile, Zotek is down. Reverb now, last man standing on the site to, to hold off this onslaught. As I just we see turn up, fight Alex, and try to slow him down on his right to flank his team. God. So far, in City's turn, we'll, we'll take the worst of that. Alex, however, appears to be backing off from that, going for blue stairs instead, trying to back up his friendly neighborhood Reverb. Reverb is doing a Plant. great we'll job. He is. He's, he's, doing, he's doing a great job solving them out. And he will slow down all the trying to ooh nice attempt from Reaver, but it will just not quite connect in time. Uh, Alex having to you. clutch against four members of NJIT. I mean, they're they're very low on HP. This is this is a, this is probably two members worth of health. He, he just needs to hit them anywhere on their body with one bullet, and three of them will most likely go down. But they'll now spread out. Two members will look, will look to move back towards the stairs. He'll find one kill. No, he'll find the down, but Porto will be able to wrap that up. Alex just with, with too many targets to fight. And esports and ready. We'll, we'll, we'll be back in the game in a moment. And thank you, servers. I was actually praising. I my I, I I really hope that they fix this bug soon because it's not good for anybody. It, 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 it's it's uh, it's been frustrating. I'd be um, curious to see exactly what causes it actually. Because like, it, it hasn't really been a problem up until, like, this season. I don't know what it is. It's I guess it's, like, um, maybe the server is trying to manage the 11 players. And it's just like, maybe. what's this 11 dude? 11 dude, what's he doing? And, you know, maybe the uh, the observer shouldn't be at all under this um, restriction for the ping. Not to mention that I think that the netcode load is a lot heavier for the observer, which is probably what's uh, causing it. Because we get to see the outlines as well of all the players, and uh, you know, or it could thinking about it from a code perspective, I'm not sure what's going on. Because because like I'm these sure. these outlines these outlines are usually all you need to update is where the player is to each. Mm -hmm. um, and then, oh, it's probably because the observer gets such a wider view of the entire thing, so it, he has to have a more precise. Um, Maybe a desync happens, and the client yeah. doesn't know how to reconcile it. Yeah, I, I, I see what you mean. Oh. Hmm. Uh, for uh, any of you wondering in chat, if you just joined us, this is a collegiate league. We are the North American University Siege League, and we are very tired right now. Okay, me, maybe not two games in a row. Maybe, but okay. Okay. They're gonna go for it. Oh boy. I guess. Uh, I mean, ASU is ready for it this time, I guess. Uh, it seems like. Uh, I mean, oh. Zerfon was certainly more prepared for it, but nonetheless, he will fall to Meep's R4C. Ash is being a little bit too fast for him to handle. Meep is still doing a great job trying to stall out the attack from NJIT. But the they wall really will get opened move. nonetheless. I, I I like this more uh, more unorthodox push coming out from NJIT, trying to catch ASU off guard. We'll oh, see yeah. Meep now look for the flank again. Meep just does really well trying to, trying to look for his own angles. And catch the attackers off guard. Oliver will find Tanner and Zotek will find Porto. 
Trying to shove onto the site. Even now, still looking for the flankers. Though. I think we'll find one once more. There goes Beast Freak. Off the board here. Isn't that, it is now just turning up Ozzy and Meep. Zotek will find yet another, yet another frag. Meep will fall as well. What is Ozzy doing here? I don't. Zotek, you're doing. Oh, the third kill! On the board, will it be kill number four? He'll find kill number four. Zotek playing very well, holding down the site against very difficult odds. It seems like. I. I, I do not agree with NJIT going for this strategy twice in a row, though. I, I, I feel like it might have been it, trying it, it a little bit too hard. It definitely lost its element of surprise, meaning that um, once they uh, knew what to watch for, ASU um, could just fight back on that plan. But uh, they're not gonna. They're probably not gonna be able to execute that again on there, um, as in NJIT instead is gonna be having to attack Hookah. But um, I wonder if they expect a Hookah. Especially um, with the loadouts that are coming out here, Buck, Cabana, Ash, Sophia, um, if they wanted to go for a quick plant, they'd probably pick up a Monty and a Glass, but no. Although, none of these operators are one speed. All of these operators are at least three speed or two. Thatcher's the only two speed here, so it might be that they're going for a lightning fast attack. Um, uh, <clears throat> well, you know, ASU is picking up uh, some a couple more trap offs. Uh, no, they've been playing trap offs. Alex is actually picking up Legion this time around. Uh, possibly to try and slow them down because Hookah is actually a very easy to rush fight, especially when uh, you consider that um, you can jump down from the roof into a uh, village right there on the wall that they're reinforcing. If you open up ju the the hole just right, it's, where it's... where are the clock is reinforcing right now? Yeah, yeah, right there. If you reinforce right there, you can try and vault into the room. If if you're using a three speed, and you you know open up the hibana uh, hole right away. This is game one, ladies and gentlemen. It is two to five right now. Wait. ASU needs this defense to go right, and... ASU's already found one. They're, they're slowly bringing it back. It, it is reasonable to say that overall, uh, this map is pretty defender-sided. At least in this series as of right now. Obviously, the early... Again, Meep just getting so aggressive, but Reverb is there to try to stop it out. This clash has been so strong at, at, at just stalling out this these aggressive pushes from NJIT. But again, like they came into the exact same doorway again. Like, this is going to be punished if they keep this up. This is a practice play. This, this isn't even, like, a dynamic play that they have. Um, it just seems like they This all... is quite clearly this is something that, that they consciously are doing. Yeah, they... they, they it's... It, <clears throat> they always come in from the same spot. They always push the, the, that many people that way. So that uh, they're, like, a concentrated force that just, of just great havoc. But it, it, once uh, ASU decides to just peek them around the corner and actually get a few gunfights going, it won't matter. That's a oh, Meep pushing up. Meep will find one. There goes Alex with the second kill. Tanner will follow as well. Reverb has ha Reverb just like moving back and forth there probably got two of his teammates killed because they, they could not safely fire. Because Maestro tried to try to peek behind the bomb. Meep will narrowly miss him as well. I'm not actually quite sure. Um, but the reverb is doing that wavy back and forth on purpose, or...? I, I think it's just out of habit, honestly. It seems like it. Oh. Ah, so it's me. a... Go to as well. Meep now with three kills. Possible ace coming out, but nope. Beast Freak will steal it. Last man is reverb. He'll need, he'll need to look for the pistol now, and we'll go for it, but Meep is there to shut it down. Mm. Map 1 will go to NJIT. Wow, that's kind of early, actually. That is... Yeah, like that... Quite, that was not the outcome I was expecting. I uh, yeah, I was expecting it the other way around, but it, this was ASU's map. Like, like ASU historically is so strong on the coastline, they just got completely shut down by NJIT. <sighs> I guess there's a lot more material on ASU than there is on any other team uh, on this map. That is true. About it. Yeah. It, it, it's definitely shows that NJIT did their research, but let's see if uh, NJIT has done uh, proper prep for their own pick for Border. Uh, are they requesting a five-minute break or no? Hold on, we, 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 need to, we need to remake regardless.
Oh, right. Okay. Uh, I I do have to say yeah, though, um, US... Zoetic still did had a really good hold as Mira. Mm, it did. No, he, it was a great hold. He he. I believe he got four frags for that. Yeah. Honestly, very strong. Hoggers chat. Hoggers for Zoetic energy. At the moment, our. <clears throat> we are just uh, remaking the game, and we will be moving forward with the second map of the night, which is Border. Um, I think right now the two most played maps uh, in our league are Borgen. Oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? Oregon and Border. I compiled data myself today. And, um... Of all the map bans, um, it, Oregon and Border never seem to be banned. <laughs> the only, un, uh, un, unfortunately. Unfortunately, which uh, kind of sucks. A bit. Like they're they're not bad maps. It's like you know, like once once they get played, you know, five or six times. I think I've seen it's, it's every little... single iteration of the basement hold that exists on Oregon at this point. Honestly, the, every single iteration of Basement, I've seen it with Mira, I've seen it without Mira, I've seen it with a smoke holding an angle from inside the closet, I've seen it held with just one evil eye, I've seen it held with a pulse from the second floor shooting down through the hatch onto laundry. And I do believe I've seen it with the adaptive strategy to stop Thermite from opening that hatch from uh, upstairs into the laundry. I, I, I don't... It, it, it's, sorry, it's just... it. Oregon is just one of those maps to me that has, has been seen so much play. But I guess that's why people keep coming back to it. it it's and the, the same goes for Border. Border is you know the second most played map in the league. Um, it's it's the rectangle that won't stay down. It just loves coming back up and uh, showing us just how much people like to emphasize um, taking that armory by first uh, making sure that no one was in our, in CCTV. Um, typically. You need to also double check that uh, no rumors make their way back into CCTV once you've cleared it, because it's still very easy to take that. I, I do believe that ASU has a lot of experience on border, and we should be able to see that here. And if NJIT actually manages to have done their homework here, I hope we see a new strat. I want to see a new strat on this map. Because I haven't, uh, we saw, we saw, I saw Bank yesterday on uh, the main channel. And that was actually very impressive to me because there was a new. New open area. All right, hello, I'm back. I had to go for a quick bathroom break. Oh, I'm now okay. unmuted. Sorry about that. Okay. I, I didn't want to cut you off, and I wanted to try to get back to get teams back in the game as fast as possible. Okay. <clears throat> and, um... Did I really just talk for, like, five minutes about how much I hate War for again? I don't think five minutes. More along the lines of, like, maybe, like, a minute. I, I, I could talk days about every single strategy I've seen on it, and which ones work and which ones don't work. And I would agree. Yeah, I could do an entire case study on Oregon. Just map design. Just, oh, I know I'm not even a game design major at this point. Uh, I just. Let's see oh, if ASU sorry. is more. I mean, like, historically, ASU has done quite well on border as well, if I recall. Yeah, they have. Um, It's just that, like. It suits their more aggressive play style, but it appears that NJIT also goes for a very aggressive style of play, which might suit them also quite well. It's definitely ranked frag heavy. 
and um, I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say that that's, you know, particularly tactical, but uh, NJIT, um, just on how they practice that entrance into coastlines, you know, front door is definitely, you know, something you practice for um, just being a very frag heavy entry and just making sure that you get any rumors are near that door. Um, just if, not leaving it all at all the chance and yeah. just consolidating all of their resources on one route, on one lane. A lot of this comes down to ASU being able to read where Meep wants to go. If <laughs> if they can shut him down, I think that I think that ASU will do a lot better in in these rounds. As as well, just as as we were able to see, Meep just completely crush them on his flanking routes or. Uh, when NJIT attacked, he, he he led the charge and very effectively fragged out, killing at least, on average, I want to say two people per round. Sometimes three to yeah. four. Meep is just a very aggressive, and I believe he holds um, a similar role to that of the Sinus in um, SFU, where um, he he's the main fragger. He's the main fragger. He, yeah. he the team relies on him to get the kill so that they can get the, the objective done. Which which yeah. works, you know, like it, it, it Rutgers does quite well, and so Sigma certainly frags oh, sorry, out. It was Rutgers. Oops. Yeah. Um, but it, it, but if Cygnus gets picked off or if Cygnus gets target banned, they do significantly worse. They do, and, and you know it's usually bad for you to have a single star player because. Um, it, it's easy to target them. It's easy to um, counterplay their most played offs, and um, we could definitely see that going out and uh, and like next week, maybe NJIT's next opponent just chooses to you know ban that Cav, ban that Ash. Um, I believe somebody in chat even said that they did that just because of Meeps. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. Uh, it's interesting because like. Typically in pro league, you'll see people do bans based on the strategies they don't want to play against. Here you see a lot more. It, it's not unreasonable, but like here you see in the collegiate level, you see a lot more targeted bans against Absolutely. players. It's it, it's it's overall uh, in a USL the it's teams play around individual players more so than they play around overall strategies. And, and, and that that works for them, but it's it's definitely a a difference from what we see in in, in leagues like Pro League or, or uh, CSL. The it, I guess it's the variety in skill level because we've seen you know um, pretty good players to just about you know silvers entering to the league here and there, and that's fine if you're a silver. You know, I'm just it's just um, developing your entire strategy around um, a single pillar is definitely not going to work when somebody takes a sledgehammer to it. You know? Mm -hmm. um, it, me just waiting for those feetsies to come out, waiting for that interrogation again. Will he go... It, it, is he, what, at four? This would be his fourth you got it? Th third or fourth? I, wa yeah. I, I, I want to say third. He is very aggressive. Like, look at that. That's like, like, he's, he's got to be playing confidently right now. The drone will spot him out, though. This could be a beautiful wall bang. If ASU's able to read this on the drone, they've, they, they've got to know where he is right now. They might look forward here. As we see one repel back down. No, the diffuser will get... Nope, okay, I don't not... think they actually saw him. They think, I think they... I don't know. I think they saw him and he got spooked. I think that's what just happened. It's like the drone is there. They've got to be able the to see that the meep is there. It looks the like Alex is... might want the frag here, actually. He might be trying to catch meep off guard. Uh, but, but he hears that. Helling in like this is, is gonna... very dangerous here. Possible wall bay will come out. He'll look for the free fire through the doorway, and that will spook Meep away. He will take some player though from the. That is a really good bait. Wow, I, I didn't even notice Zotek upstairs, flushing the Meep out and shutting him down. But Ozzy will get the refrag onto Alex pushing in. Not quite ready for the second man to be there. Now, Reverb, what are you doing? He can hear you. Just on the ground. That Reverb, please. Reverb. I mean, okay. It worked, so I can't... Why do you have a suppressor? Excuse they me? don't have suppressors. I don't think you noticed, but Jim Rat has been talking about it on the Discord for the past Why? week that they all have suppressors on. What? Oh, wait, really? Hold on. Yes. There's no way. Hold on. 
he's he, he's repeatedly joked that ASU's strategy is to use Reverb. Reverb, what are you doing? I mean, like, <laughs> Reverb going for the sneak. I put the Claymore out trying to stop uh, the more aggressive style from NGI team. And this works quite well, but Infinity Strike will find Xerathon peeking in front of Tanner. A bit of a miscommunication, I feel, as you don't need to have two people peek the exact same angle. Especially when Tanner is holding it from a better position, but then City will get even. He'll find Tanner as well. What is happening right now? This turnip's not a potato. He is not. He he is a fact. He, he's actually a turnip. He is definitely a turnip. He is definitely not potatoing with his aim. So I don't know what Reverb is doing here. He could just. So what you're saying is that he's night. he's rooting out some headshots. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Reverb needs to open that wall and find Turnip. He's not... He hasn't used the Maverick Blowtorch yet at all, and Zoetic is probably gonna die to the... No, never mind! I was wrong! Play can happen here, but they're just not ready... <laughs> Look, it picked up by the goo mine! They can't oh plant my. in time! Oh my goodness! Jesus. From so the grave! Mistakes. I, like, where did ASU I go? Would, okay, I, I wouldn't call it a mistake. It was literally just like, you know, he had to plant. And he was denied by the goo mine. That was, that was, it was it was unfortunate timing, you know, him being so very low. And obviously just a, a good hold from NGIT getting the frags that needed to happen. And City's trying to get a 3k on the round. Definitely a 4k. As he did stop the plant and down, I believe that was Reverb on the Maverick. Reverb died to it. Did he die to it? He died to it. He died to the goo mine. And, um... The legend. Turn it... Turnip ran, uh, got out of there with two headshots before getting fl uh, flanked, and it just—it was—it it was ACOG versus uh, what was that? Re no, Reflex. Uh, hollow. I'm guessing. Hollow. It was it was ACOG versus Hollow. That he that headshot must have felt so bad from Tanner's uh, hand and also from you know. So I, no, this, I don't remember. This is not the ASU that, that, that we're used to seeing play. It's got to be said. It's 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 ridiculous because we've seen this team play like, really well before, but it just feels like NG, NJIT completely. They're playing very well on, on on top of this, and like they, they they know exactly what they want to do. They'll go to Tellers for their second bomb site instead of workshop ventilation, and mm. a, a, an interesting choice. I think they're probably going to be playing heavy upstairs at least two ops. I would assume two ops, two ops upstairs holding uh, the offices, and at least uh, one operator watching from customs, at least. Because this this site is terrible to anchor in. You do not no, want to anchor what? it in at all. What? He's reinforcing the hatch. Why? Well, if you lose office, you want them to waste time on opening the hatch. I know, but like, you can use this hatch to defend the site. Like, you, you, you almost need to. Like, it's so easy to plant on you this could... window. You could also assume that no, they, they assume that the attacker's taking him, and then I you, know, suppose? you could retake the the office later on and then just use that instead. But I'm not sure. I I personally don't like that hatch open at all. I personally like it reinforced. Um, but it doesn't seem like there is anybody playing upstairs. What? I don't. This is. Weird. I lost that bet. I, I lost this that is weird. No, like I, I, I did as well. I, 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 I predicted at least one or two people playing upstairs. Even three, uh, for a site like Tellers is is completely understandable. But we'll see no one on NJIT play upstairs, dedicating every single player to the site. I, I, I like this choice by Meep to show the Cavera and then six pick off onto the mute, trying to make ASU more paranoid than they normally would be. Alex on the sledge is an interesting choice here. I'm not quite sure what inspired this, as opposed to the to the to the, to the Buck or the Zofia. But nonetheless, we'll see him utilize that reverb now coming in to try to open up this hatch. No, nope, Zerfon will find that. Never mind. Reverb will lend to support me. Come over. <laughs> not quite able to get away from these roaming tendencies. We'll look for the delayed flank on office, but the drone will spot him out. They know that he's here. We'll see if ASU is able to react in time. We'll see Xerophon now look for no one. Xerophon not even watching it, but Reaver will find him, catching him off guard. Good use of the drones to be able to watch out for this more aggressive play that we've seen from me historically. And then there goes Insidious Turnip. The two impact fraggers for NJIT are now off the board. 
I say they drop and they actually manage to plant here. Because there's just a clash in there and then the rest of the the rest of NJIT is NJIT is that was a one tap. Yep, yep, the rest of NJIT's roster is in the bathroom. I don't know why they take hey, hey, no, they're they're very sweaty, they need a shower. See, he, he needs a shower. That's not a shower, Albatross. Well, it could That's be. A toilet. It could be. That's this... a toilet. Alright, look. It can be whatever you want it to be. Okay, Clash is dead. And it sounds like... Oh, there it goes, Ozzy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if, Chad, if you're wondering who made that pun, that was Albatross. That was not me. Wait, no, I had, what I had, pun did I, had... I make? Uh, I don't remember at this point. But people are mad at your pun. So... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let him be mad just, at you. Un unfortunately, Insidious Turnip is just, is just, is just starching to not do as well as he did before. I don't know what you, but I, I think I've had an assault t thrown at me this week. It's okay, it's okay, Duke. I'll take all the pain. <laughs> I'll take it. It's too much salt. My hands are dry. Yeah. No, trust me, I know. I know. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. We don't. Of sea salt. I like sea salt, Happy. Tanner will six-pick off of the Buck onto the Dokabi. We'll see. I mean, I, I don't know how I feel about that, because Buck is so strong at attacking customs, and we'll see. I, I, honestly, like, Buck is really strong at, att at attacking both customs and tellers, mm. and, and obviously NGRT is able to pick both of them, So, but going for the Dokabi instead is, 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 is a little questionable. Like, uh, obviously, problem... you, you can use that to help counter uh, Meat's more aggressive playstyle. But that verticality that you lose is huge. Uh, well, I feel like there's no denial, though, so there's no point in uh, keeping the buck, which is probably what their original plan was. But they're going custom. What? I mean, it's good for that, too. Like, th this entire floor is destructible. Mm, but still. And uh, so JFT like, just, uh, just trying to keep ASU caught off guard. They're definitely doing a lot of unorthodox things, which is interesting, so it's just also keeping us awake, which is pretty great. Um, <laughs> but, um, honestly, I, I'm not sh Customs is just such an awkward site to hold, because mm -hmm. you've got that outside wall right there in the southwest, and then that window that just leads directly into site, and while you can hold it, you don't have exactly the best angles to hold it from. It's very obvious that you're either going to be holding it from that, uh, you know, little be there on the right or from the door so check those two spots and you're clear to go in it is worth saying that in the past NGIT has very much favored this site uh, in the GMU NGIT game we saw them play it multiple times to generally pretty good effect uh, the, the, the border map went 5-6 in favor of GMU a heartbreaking loss for NJIT, I'm sure they want to try to reconcile that in this game against against ASU. I'll just be getting very aggressive with the clash, trying to spot out where the where the attacks will be coming up on to the outside balcony, getting that free information that he's able to find with the shield. There is no Zofia for ASU as, as their ability to be able to counter this is significantly limited as to what we've seen in the past. Alex generally generally loves uh, using the Zofia. Like now opting for the sledge quite a bit in this series, kind of an interesting choice. We'll see Ozzy for looking for the aggressive peek outside, quite possibly getting picked up if he's not too careful. Portal will find Alex already. There goes the sledge down on the. I believe that was just the default window. Wow, that, that, that wow. is a long hmm. angle, and he'll find it. Damn, good, good job, beast. Zephyron. Zerfon will get will get shot up quite a bit. I'm guessing that was just the Kibera. Oh, he might run directly into him though. Tanner will look for the peek and find it. Meep just not quite prepared. A nice collapse by ASU and Ozzy will fall as well. Just gonna, just gonna get sailed from too many directions. This is actually a really nice collapse by ASU. It happened a little bit later than we, nor than we would normally expect, but still very well done indeed. We saw Tanner They're move across. Very low. They're so low at the moment. I, if I were AC right now, I'd take a moment. To they reset. together have about one operator worth of HP. Oh my god. And Base Streak still has his Nitro Cell below. He will find the kill. There goes Reverb and Porto, and the City will each find one kill for their own. Tanner, last man standing for ASU against four members of NJIT having to retake the site. He has the SMG 12, but with its nerf, it is not the monster that it used to be.
Pulse, of course, no, no, able to I give bet. a lot of information to his team. He will most likely spot. Yeah, he will spot it out, knowing exactly where this Dokabi is. He will not get not too aggressive here. He'll look for the kill, but Terrence is ready for it. There goes one Ooh. kill on the board. Just mis expecting where he'll be. And see, this turn has left the game. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Let's see if they ask. Hopefully, he'll for... be able to come back here. Ooh, the Goo Mines will, will just ruin him if he's not careful here. Rook will just overly aggressive and Porto will fall. A heartbreaking disconnect for NGIT as, as Tanner will be able to clutch out the round. Let's see if NGIT. Yep, yeah, they will call for their rehost. We will be right back with that. As uh... Okay, so. We'll be right back. And we're back. Are you ready for the game after the rehost? Uh, I mean, I am. Are you? I'm gonna take a long deep sun. No, it's good. Yeah, I'm ready. Is your body ready? Mmm, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'd rather ask Reggie. <laughs> I'd ask Reg. Yeah. 
I want, I want a Reggie. We will too. ask Reggie for deliverance, and Reggie will say no. Oh my god. Uh, Kavira for Smash. Please Kavira no. for Smash Ultimate. Please no. Yeah, her, 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 her ultimate, her Smash, her Smash, her ultimate Smash attack. God damn it! I forgot what the name of it was. Um. No, see, Smash Ball you... attack. You put in Blitz as a alternate skin for Captain Falcon, and the Falcon Munch is just him bopping someone with the shield. Oh my god. Oh, come on, that'd be great. That would be pretty great, actually. Um, <sighs> Zulfa, Zulfa Thermite, <laughs> Maverick, Zulfa Lion, what? what the... Ash Sonic skin. No! Yes! <laughs> God, that would be so terrifying to see her curl up into a ball. And the skin and has, like, twice as many iframes. Oh, my God. Uh, I feel like eventually we're just going to kill Sakurai. <laughs> and then and then and Tachanka's like... Pac-Man. Oh, no. Because he is the meme pick. Excuse me, do not diss the Pac-Plan. I suppose. Whenever you pick Pac-Man, you are about to execute the Pac-Plan. Alright. There's a little bit of confusion for NJIT as to where they want to put their reinforcement on the armory locker's wall. But it does appear to be resolved now. Looks like they're actually going to go for a, a um, mirror window on the armory Slightly wall. Slightly more aggressive than we're generally used to. But I like it. I'm uh, into it. Yeah, but ASU now doesn't have a uh, bot to respond to that. You can probably get the Sophia to go below, but she's not going to be as effective in doing that. Um, definitely going to bite them in the butt a little bit. Put it back into his cargo at this point. Hmm. Who knows? I, I I still hold the theory that he's not actually making the goo mines. What? What? What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> it's an unreinforced crouched mirror window, which is technically viable. Yeah. Why? But... <laughs> Why though? Because he wants to be able to do pop up. Okay. What? What I see a lot more teams do is be more aggressive with that door open so that uh, somebody can just run out and shoot the thermite. Meep is still doing his cab work. I also want to say that NJT has used both the mirror windows, like right here. Like, yeah. it, both windows are on my screen right now. Leaving Fountain kind of bare, actually. No, they got the Insidious Turnip on a, on a shelf. It's fine. <laughs> they have their Turnip on a shelf. They have their turnip on a shelf. How how has this man not been pre-fired? Oh, it'll fall oh, off. Never mind. Turnip has fallen. Like it's 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 a very vulnerable position. Like it, it's it's strong, but you're so I, caught out. It's easy to pre-fire. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to pre-fire. It is. I've done it. Turnip, turnip I, is I, getting I so aggressive game. here. He'll nearly outright kill the thermite. Me just across the map, waiting for the more delayed flank that we've seen from him quite often in the past. However, a very strong push will come out from ASU trying to catch the defenders off guard. Reverb, don't say. Oh Reverb will get. Why? God. Why, Reverb? Why? I think they put a mute trigger. Oh, there's a mute and wall. there's no Thatcher. Yeah. That's why. I see. They can probably I don't shoot quite this. see oh. it. Turn up will get killed through the same angle with a mute jammer. He's still very much alive. Plant will go down as we'll cover him. No one really in position to be able to stop this. And GIT just not down. reacting. Well, then by ASU to just punish the lack of mirror presence on this side of the map. I'm not they sure They now have why, a lot of crossfire uh, in their favor. You can take out that mute uh, from the door where Zerfon was to the left and then open up the wall. Oh, mute coming out to, to try and flank onto office. Oh, no, the timing. But no, he'll catch he'll catch Zerfon out of position anyway. Find one kill. Three, however, still on the board as the mirror is very much out of commission. He's running out of time, though. With about 20 seconds left on the clock before he just stops being able to clutch it out. And Alex will find him with the headshot using the Zofia that we know him to love. Oh, well, this is definitely a different ASU that we uh, were accustomed to seeing in the last map. They, uh, they appear to, 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 to have picked up their spaghetti and have, have, have come back from the initial uh, strife that we've seen. Okay, but here's the question. Hmm? What flavor is the spaghetti? Is there more than one kind of spaghetti? 
Yes. There no. is white sauce spaghetti. Red sauce spaghetti. Okay, hold, I'll, I'll, I'm going to stop you there. Spaghetti oh. is spaghetti. Like, like spaghetti is... It is spaghetti with, like, tomato sauce, right? Like, you, you, you don't have spaghetti pasta with white sauce. It, it, just, it, just doesn't, it, it doesn't work. You dare eat spaghetti without meatballs? I mean, like, you have meatballs. What I'm saying is, like, we're talking about sauces here. Like, and, like, spaghetti and meatballs is not a flavor. Sp- yeah, just... spaghetti, with, spaghetti with red sauce is a flavor. Okay. I may have proposed to you spaghetti with white sauce. Sp- I... I, I don't know, man. It just seems like very, very un. See, okay, you know what Bugatini is? Yeah. It's great. I love it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> people oh, drop their Bugatini on the floor. <laughs> people just don't know what you're talking about, man. They just get really confused. Like, I don't know. I just don't want them to drop the El Dente. Okay? If, if you drop that on the floor, it shatters. We'll see if ASU can avoid dropping that El Dente. <laughs> this is a meme now. You realize uh, this, right? Yes, I realize that since we're so very tired, we start saying the weirdest things. Because we just... <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen... I mean, I'm into it. Staff. Please, I'm into it. Please apply to be admin. Please Immortal. That's fine. We, we, we're getting by. We're, we're doing what we need to do. Hopefully, uh, things just, like, like as as we get into it and teams get more get more used to how the reschedule system works and so on. I will trust. Uh, we'll I think know. we can we can set it up as a business expense. How much coffee we had to have? Had I mean, yes, days. but with what money? All right. So, <laughs> I I want to point out that they put a mirror window over here, but I'm not quite sure if if they understand why you put a mirror over here. Yeah, it's open right there. What, what, a little, you, a little you curious. Could, you, could, you could actually just open up the the part above the wall um, and then actually toss the C4 over it. You don't need to open it up uh, there. Like, uh, the best you're doing is increasing the damage from the mirror peak at best. That's the best. The best. Oh, now it's the beam back on the back. <laughs> oh! He's trying to go find the shot from above, catching Alex off guard. It was just a little bit too much to deal with. We'll see Xerophon wanting to open up this wall. Kernoflus just wants to get so aggressive. Thermite will open up the wall for him! We'll see the mirror play, try, just trying to play behind the half wall. Look for the pre-fire, not quite connecting just yet. Kernoflus wants to get so aggressive, though. I love this play here. But the E1D will spot him out. They know that he's there. We'll see if the ASU was able to notice or not. Because Zotek Energy is just not looking at where, where Insidious Turnip is now. Playing from the pre-fire will not quite connect, though. And the Turnip is very low. But now this is, will just act as a thorn in the side of ASU. But Xerophon with the pre-fire will find Turnip ending his rampage. Ozzy will find one in Zotek. Just the Lion not quite prepared. As the phone call just ticks off on the Clash 3-3 in favor. All the defenders as they, as they still have sight control, but Porto is off sight for some reason. I I guess. Is, is he trying to emulate uh, his teammates' late playing? I mean, oh, I suppose nice goes. flank shots from Reaver pushing in from A. Meep not <laughs> Tanner Perry nearly dying to the evil eye as Meep stays on his camera. But Tanner will be able to find him, just no communication, being able to say that Reaver is in the hallway and he will fall. Last man standing is Porto having to retake against three members of ASU. The plant is down. He's got to be able to manage his time carefully here. But I believe this is, this is his second round in a row having to clutch, by the way. Yeah, it is. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see if he's able to make this work. As ASU has a pretty strong hold on the site, each of them holding their own angle. But Tanner watching the flank, but he'll find one, but will lose a lot of his HP for his time. There goes the smoke cannon that, that his team kind of needed on the site, but we won't talk about that. Now I'm going to push across the way and we'll get picked up by Tanner playing in the hallway. Porto just not quite ready to deal with that. That roaming smoke really didn't work. I'm not sure why um, Meeps has moved out of roaming. Um, I mean, that was his role until now, but then he ended up in uh, being a maestro. Um, you know... And he just didn't get that flank off, um, you know, with uh, Sporto trying to emulate that late, late flank that we've come to know and love from me. 
but just not showing up at all. Looks like we're only going to get to see ASU defending here. Let's see if they have properly cooked their spaghetti for defense. It cannot be too mushy. So far, NG, I see if he's, if he's, if he's setting up to drop the El Dente. Oh, we'll see God. whether or not they're able to... Okay, look, look, I'm making it a thing. It's happening. I'm tired. We're, we're forcing it. It's, it's, we're forcing it? Are we this, asking this the, the R team be. to make... A, are we going to ask the R team to make a spaghetti? Emo? Already done. Oh, no. <laughs> we could be using our art team to do such better things. Yes, but... You, okay, and let's, you them let's, with be, let's, let's, let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. If we ask Ron what he really wants to do, you know what he's going to say. Make a spaghetti. Eh, eh. All, all, all of his other work is going to get the al dente. But we'll see. But in GIT has in store, as we didn't see a side switch now, in GIT will now be on the attack. We'll see Neve back on the Ash. We've seen him uh, really use a great effect in the past. I will say that Meep has been countered quite a bit by ASU on border as compared to Coastline. It, it, it just seems like um, the, the same ferocity of attack the NGIT was uh, using against um, ASU on Coastline just... Um, did not translate well to a defense on border. Um, and uh, definitely, you could definitely see that with the fact that Meep even swapped out of, uh, you know, roaming to the point where ASU just managed to take advantage of that. And it just seems like ASU is so much more at home here than at Coastline, their general pick. We were still rocking that clash. I will. Okay, so Duke, fun, what? fun bit of trivia. Do you know what the singular form of spaghetti is? Spaghetti. No. Spaghettis. It is spaghetto. A single spaghetti noodle is spaghetti. Is a spaghetto. Kill me. Why? Kill me just now. Just, oh, look at this. The rehearsed, the rehearsed entry. Look at that. I should have pointed out that Ozzy almost exclusively plays shields. Like, he That's played Clash true. on defense, he's playing Montane now. He is everything that bothers me about Siege. <laughs> but that's okay. I, st I, I like Ozzy as a person, I just don't like Shields as, as, as a person. Thinking of Shields, upstairs we'll see Freeverb want to tell me to just go, go away. No thank you. We would, not, we, we would like to not buy any. Oh man, are we actually going to get to see Monty versus Clash here? I, I would like to see it. I want to see it too. Uh, we almost saw a um, blitz. We actually saw a blitz versus a uh, clash earlier. Yeah. Lions roar hey. number one will get called out. We're getting quite marked down here. We'll see me try to push into this clash, but this slow from the shield will make him be able to not really do what he wants to do with that. Xerophon will find one in Porto. Ozzy Fur will get the refrag, however. Wrapping up that frost, getting a little bit too aggressive on the B doorway. Alex will find the Montana the standoff. Ozzy, you need to stop ADSing people, but he will down Alex, catching him a little bit off guard. It's working for him. Here. Uh, but he, like, he, most he, of the like, time, you don't want to be a very. Aggressive if this were player. me, I would have been. I would have been killed actually like eleven times. Oh 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 no! Clash will find the kill. Ozzy will fall to Reaver. Even with this site, we get gotten down by the firing squad. Finally, we'll see NJIT open up the armory wall. Seeing the push coming out from Insidious Turnip being backed up by... What is his name again? Beast Freak. Beast Trying freak. to hold out that angle. Pushing in towards uh, the outside of monitors. Thatcher Grenade will come out trying to stop the Clash from being as annoying as he has been in the past. But still, nonetheless, he will slow down the attackers. Where the melee will come out, but Alex is there to deny... We'll see one man go down. He sees the feet! He didn't see the maestro! Oh my goodness! The plant will go down! In the alive in the, in the living drone with the hip fire. <laughs> Free fire from around the corner. There goes Beast Freak. Just completely destroyed right there. He ran out of time, giving ASU yet. Clash has been win. so strong. And just in, 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 in both of these maps. Or rather, Re Reverb's Clash has been very strong on both these maps. It's definitely been a good... <laughs> I think 
We're making Chet hungry with the spaghetti. We need to stop. I think they're all going to die of hunger. We need to <laughs> stop. They're, they're gonna go on strike. Oh, uh, they might go on hunger strike. Okay, so, um, right there. Is, is the... Granddad! Granddad, where, he... where were you in the NAUSL spaghetti strike of 2018? Oh my god. Uh, the, the the whole thing with Clash is just that both teams have been able to use Clash to such a such a high level coordination, like um you know baiting in uh, uh the enemy team to come in and try to take out the Clash, uh, and then another defender will just pop up and take him out with a headshot. Um, That's it, different. What the oh oh that that is a lot of shield. Are we seeing a shield rush? Possibly? Uh, I, I mean, like, obviously we'll have to see what they have in store. Meep, ironically, is not playing the Ash for once, which is something that needs to be pointed out. Also, we'll see... Ozzy play Habana instead of a shield, which is also a little interesting. Is Ozzy, historically, at least in, in, in NJIT's match against uh, GMU, played a lot of shield. This is not a true shield rush. There is no few shield. Okay, don't be Kobe grind. Few shield doesn't work. Excuse me, I have uh, three clips on my channel of very successful few shield rushes. Okay. Okay. Do not diss the few shield because it does work. Even even a blind fuse finds a hostage every now and again. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. So, um. The double shield might be for the two shields to cover each other and to cover uh, an attack all, and also so that um, you know the the, the whatever attacker is uh, supposed to push the flash, um, the blitz can go after it instead. Because it's it's much scarier for a flash for a blitz to rush her than it is for a monty. Remember the shield rush that we talked about previously? Yeah. We might see it happen here actually, as we see. All five members of NGIT stacked up outside of the B site here. We it's will, we will the see the fragger. ceiling opened up, trying to deny this push. Alex is quite prepared for this. Is the other angle opened up, however, it will not be. So they can make this push happen here. Oh <laughs> my god. Three members are inside the site. We'll see how well they're able to slow this down. Zerfon will find one in Porto, and City is trying to watch the flank. The plant will go down as Ozzy watches for it. ASU's not ready to counter for it. They're, they're just not ready at all. The plant will go down. Where did Alex go? Where, where, what? I'm so confused. Oh, down goes B3. There goes one frag. Yeah. They, they've goes got Ozzy. the plant down, but NGIT is just not able to hold the site now. City Shield will find a hip fire kill onto the Maestro. Zero look at the flank kill on the 2-2. Two, two. I'm sorry, onto the Montane. Both shields still up. It's oh, take the flank kill on the Meep will find one, and Zero Fum will just win the 1v1. ASU will secure border and bring this to a draw. Oh my god. That that last round was a meme. That was an ardent meme. Yeah, that I I I agree. I, I don't I don't think uh, that could have ended in any other way. What was the score from the previous map? Uh, I want to say maybe 6 6 2 6 3. 6 2 I think. Yeah, so this puts uh, this puts uh, ASU at a plus one round differential right away. It does, and it, and ASU actually comes out of this more squeaky clean than they went in, which is definitely interesting to me. It, it was it, we've been seeing such a weird um, change uh, between maps for every team in the league so far. Uh, one one map oh, though. A just... lot of draws have happened this week. It definitely shows that the the skill level, I guess, is more or less the same all around uh, across the league, except for you know if you watch an RIT game. But uh, I, I just want to I just want to say this is this has been a stream, ladies and gentlemen. It's late at night. Yeah, it's time it's time for the both of us to be, to relax for a bit and head to bed. Here pretty soon. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate your time. We we'll back at you again with some more siege action next week. I've been all just joined by Duke Carge. Good uh, evening. Hello. Uh.